Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing you my review, demo, swatches, and a wear test using the brand new Chanel Rouge Allure Lux. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you will give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now if you want to see all the details about these new liquid lipsticks from Chanel, then just keep on watching. I have been waiting at least two to three months for these new lipsticks from Chanel to arrive. I mean, all of us, I think the hype has been real. We have seen sneak peeks of different kinds. We have seen even swatches and whatnot. They all look so beautiful. And this is a new formulation from Chanel that I was just like so mm, excited to see them. And then a couple days ago, as per usual, I was checking Chanel's website, see what's new. And then all of a sudden, boom, they were there. And I was like, oh, wow. I was just so eager to place my order. Some of the shades were available to, you know, cheap right away. And some of them, they were available to do a pre-order on December 17th. And it happens to be December 17th is my birthday. So I was like, oh my goodness. So I decided, okay, let me just get some of these lipsticks, the one that really call my name and the ones that they are available to do this review right here. And then if I like the formula, then I will place more afterwards. So I received them yesterday, which was my birthday. I couldn't resist myself. I opened them up and I actually wore one of them for almost throughout the day. I just changed it for the evening when I was going to have, you know, my dinner with my kids and we just, you know, wanted to have a little time. So I just changed it and just, just did something a little bit different. But anyhow, friends, I have them right here. I ended up picking up three of the 20 available shades. Now, it is my understanding that out of those 20 shades, 15 are going to be permanent in the line and then five of them are limited edition. As of right now, I don't know which ones are those five that they are limited edition. That's what I was told from a boutique. And if I gather the information, I will make sure to put it somewhere here on the screen or in the description box below so you know which ones they are limited edition, or I will keep you updated, you know, as time goes on or perhaps on a pin comment. Like, okay, friends. So I ended up picking up three of them. Each of them cost me $40. The packaging very consistent with the line of Chanel. They are made in France and they have a shelf life of 18 months. Okay, let me just go ahead, go into Chanel's website and let's read a little bit more about this new Rouge Allure Lux. It says right here that they are a liquid lipstick that combines ultra intense color with long wearing satin shine in one swipe. Okay, it says Rouge Allure Lux is infused with two types of polymers to preserve color intensity and help lock in hydration. The water resistant formula Wow, we're gonna try that in a minute. Features a creamy, fluid texture that glides on smoothly and lasts for up to 12 hours. Lips feel comfortable for up to eight hours. Okay, like I was telling to you guys, I have tried them yesterday. One of them, I keep it all on my lips and I will give you a feedback on that in a moment. But here's the Unicard you will find the shade name and number right here on the front as well as on the very top. And then when you take it out, here it is. This is finally the lipstick that we all have been seeing all over internet. On the very top, we have Chanel's logo. I mean, this lack. Honestly, I was thinking that this was gonna be kind of like the your lip glosses a little bit taller, a little bit more slimmer. I mean, the image seems like that, but in fact, they look very much alike to the Rouge Allure Ink Infusion. Now, in, you see the packaging right here? I mean, obviously this is kind of like, you know, shiny lacquer style. This is more matte, but the size, the size is like that. And then I do have here some of my favorite lipsticks, ah, the Ultra Tenu right here. So if you want to compare it, I mean, yeah something along those lines. Let's see if it tells us onces right here. So for example, the Rouge Duo Ultra Tenu lipstick, on, this, on the color side, on the pigment side, comes with 4.5 mLs, and this one right here comes with 
5.5 ml so one ml more than this right here so that's that's good right there okay my friends now if you're new here i do have a light to medium skin tone i will be leaving my foundation matches on the description box below along with all the products that i will be mentioning today and my makeup too i'm also filming in natural light i have big screen doors right here so hopefully this will give you the best representation on how these lipsticks look like in you know in real life okay let me just get you a little bit closer let's just start with 60 inflexible and then let me show you the doe food applicator and then as you take it out you have these doe food kind of tapered applicator also it's a little bit slanted so very much alike to the one from the ink fusion let me just show it to you yeah yeah it's the same doe food applicator so this is from the infusion see right here yeah the very 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 same and by the way i have nothing on my lips right now i'm just gonna stray for it This shade 60 Inflexible is more of a frosty kind of shade, very kind of sheer. It just gives a little bit of that frosty luminosity, but it's not metallic. It just gives a very subtle bronzy frost. And, you know, honestly, I like those type of shades a lot. I like, usually I use these type of shades fairly often, kind of like in everyday, it's kind of like my nude lipstick too that's kind of like what i use but mostly during spring and summertime not much during winter time but you know what with winter you know we can also think about frost in fact i do have here one of my favorite lip balms at the moment and it's balm frost by tom ford so this one right here has this also very frosty kind of finish the one from Chanel is not as frosty as this one. This one gives you a little bit more shine to it. This one right here gives a very subtle shine. In fact, I feel like you can use these over top a lipstick too. Now, the way that it feels, it feels a little bit sticky. If you want to compare it to, say, this one right here, an Ultra to New, this one feels sticky, but feels more drying. Like you can feel it on your lips drying. This one right here feels comfortable, lightweight, like this one is lightweight, but not as tight and as, I don't wanna say that these are super drying, but if you have tried them, they feel a little bit dry until you don't apply the other side, which is the gloss. This feels a lot more comfortable than that. Okay, now let's see, now that it's dry, if it transfer, I'm just gonna go ahead and give a kiss to my hand. It really doesn't transfer that much. I mean, I think you can see perhaps right there. Yeah, it doesn't pretty much transfer at all. Okay, now let me just go ahead and swatch it on my arm. And the base of this lipstick, it's um, kind of like a nude base, but you will have to build it up to really see. Let's go ahead and build it up. There you go. If you build it up as I'm doing right now, then you will start, yeah, then you will start feeling that it's turning just a little bit more metallic. Just a little, not that much. Next one I have here is 61 Continuous. Now this shade right here, it has such a beautiful peach tint to it. Really pretty. You will see right now. And in fact, when you're applying them, they actually feel like if you're applying some sort of lip oil. I love this shade right here so much. You know that I love peach shades. In fact, it reminds me a little bit to Hermes Beige Tadelac that you know I absolutely love for summertime. I mean, this has been my summertime color. 
it looks very alike. I will go ahead and saturate here so you can see. Like you see that peachy tone. Perhaps this has a little bit more pink in it, but it just kind of reminds me so much to it, but in a liquid version. I know we're still going through the colder months, but spring will arrive really soon. And as soon as we hit January, we're gonna start seeing the spring releases coming. And this is total a spring, yeah, a spring lipstick. And this one right here is not as sheer as the previous one, that one 16 flexible. Okay, now let's go ahead and give a kiss <laughs> proof to see how transfer resistant this is. So as you can tell, there is a little bit of tracing there, but not, not as much. And yesterday, while I was using it, I had it to go outside the house for a couple times. I had my mask on and the transfer, you know, wasn't like, oh wow, is there like, you know, a smear all over. No, nothing like that. I will tell you in a minute. Okay, let's go with the other shade. <gasps> Look at that. Wow. Wow, right there. Oh my goodness, I'm super excited for this shade. Now, as far as scent goes, I don't I don't perceive any scent to it. So let's try. So with one application you get definitely full pigment, but is this I I wanna I don't wanna say that it's sheer, but it has certain translucency to it just a tiny let's see if we build it up and this shade right here has a little bit more of a i mean it does have a little bit of red in it kind of like a cranberry shade i was thinking that it was gonna be a little bit more plummy but it's more into the cranberry shade let's just give it a second application Definitely with a second swipe, this shade looks amazing, a deep cranberry shade. I mean, I love it for the holidays. This is amazing, beautiful shade. Now let's do the kiss test. So as you can see, it does transfer, but it's minimal. I still have plenty of this shade right here. And with that, I want to say that yesterday when I was using the lipstick that is more in the peachy tone, it lasted all the time. I mean, I ate something greasy, which I shouldn't have. <laughs> and I, it, the lipstick just stayed intact in there. It didn't move, it didn't budge. The transfer was very, very minimal and it actually lasted. And it also had a little bit of a stain power on my lips but my lips, they look beautiful. They look, they look a little bit plump and just very healthy. And now let's try if they are really water resistant as they claim. They're not water resistant unless obviously you rub them. And now as far as comparisons right here, I really do not have a lot of these shades on my collection. I think we just went through this one right here, which is 61 Continuous. It kind of, like I said, remind me a little bit to the shade Beige Tadelac from Hermes. And then as far as from Chanel, if you are wondering, I do have right here Timeless Beige and Intense Caramel. So I'm just going to first apply though the 60 Inflexible. Just going to apply it here, right here, so you can take a look at it. I mean, the base is a nude base, but you will have to build it in order to really see it. Okay, so let's go first with timeless beige this as you can tell is more creamy it does have more pigment at first swipe and then here i have intense caramel which this one is a little bit more warmer in tone there you go this is intense caramel timeless beige 
so that's done and then as far as this shade right here which is 79 underneath now i don't think i have something as intense as this from chanel i think the closest one will be 117 Coupe from this holiday collection yeah uh, not as close this has more red in it and then i do have here rosewood too intense rosewood there you go perhaps more light to intense rosewood just a little i think intense rosewood is not as deep though and honestly for what i have tried them on yesterday i will have to say these lipsticks are gorgeous i love the formulation super comfortable satin not super shiny very comfortable and also very minimal transfer they just look marvelous i think this is a stunning formula this is definitely the year take from these ultra tenu lipsticks instead of being mad instead of you know this dual thing i think this is the take for the satin not as transfer proof as these ones right here but yet i mean a truly stunning formula truly stunning i highly highly recommend them and i would love to know from you my friends are you planning to pick up any of these new rouge allure lacs which are the shades that you are eyeing i would love to hear from you or perhaps you already have gotten yours what is your opinion i would love again to read your comments down below and while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet i hope that you will give me that opportunity and go ahead it's completely free subscribe to my channel make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and it will be amazing if we can grow our family also on instagram so come and follow me there we can stay connected also i can give you close-up images right there of all the products that i'm reviewing and much more if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends and until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day Bye bye